Good evening. Good morning. I am recording this. Well, it's not early, but kind of. No, it's, it's actually not early. But there is a specific reason why. And it's actually because of a conversation I had with a friend today that made me think. But first of all, before I get into all that, I just want <laughs> to say, yeah, I uploaded two of the same readings. I uploaded the same reading. How can I say this? Is that how I want to say this? I uploaded the same freaking reading two times. Wow, how many times can I say this? <laughs> one, one, one. But the, um, <laughs> the vegan reading is up. I'm not going to pull down or delete um, so that there's just one of the other double readings because that there's more than five comments on the video so I feel like it's evil just to delete it. So you're welcome people, you have a double reading. But we might get serious today, we might get thoughtful today. It feels very deep. Everything at the moment feels very deep. <laughs> but the person I talked with today pointed something out. And at first I tried to also... <laughs> it kind of felt like we had a little discussion about... <laughs> Whatever. Don't um, discuss... <laughs> <laughs> with our Aquarius because the Aquarius will always be right <laughs> and the Libra and me is trying to balance things out and trying to see things two to two by the way from different perspectives but you know <laughs> let's call an elephant by the name <laughs> but the topic is and I actually well I wrote down the topic but I might do this a little bit different when I do the reading or um, when we talk about things because not all of you are dealing with love but after the conversation um let me say it like this the conversation was about like okay this person <laughs> this person <laughs> whoa was like sandra we have done the healing where is love like where is our person and i was like well <laughs> he also called me out all the time and like no no where is our person because we've done the healing it's like the universe keeps sending us signs, but it's not there. Where is my reward? And I actually, like, even if I really struggled giving her the right answers, I ended up being like, I see what you mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go to that headspace, but I see what you mean. And it actually made me sit with myself um, and some things you also mentioned by the way was this like let's put the universal goggles on uh let's yeah like and i think she said that also because it's like well let's see what the universe is seeing because we are clearly not seeing it right so even if this is about love some of you guys might be dealing with that some of you guys might actually have the same questions right been single for a long time where is my person Right. But for others of you, it can be whatever. It's whatever it is that you have tried to manifest for a long time. And it's just not happening, but you see all the signs, right? And other things you also mentioned was this energy of like the universe putting us together with, if it's love, with a person who is just perfect right this person has everything that you have been looking for but then there is a separation and also like the way that she said it it also once again made me like think like yeah why actually why would the universe do that why would the universe pull something away from us that is perfect for us in many ways right but <laughs> once again i try to be logic <laughs> balance with my answers but the Aquarius didn't want to hear any of it <laughs> so she did make me again she did actually make me think like yeah where, <laughs> why why is this <laughs> why is this happening like after 
after we have done the healing and that's the thing i wrote down because that's actually i wanted to make this reading about that but like i said it's going to be about whatever but i did write down where is love when you have done all the healing some of you guys might be like well how do i know if i have healed this might actually be a very important question you know that you have healed if nothing triggers you when it comes to someone else or something else if there is not a longing and i know this sounds strange but hear me out because i recently came to this conclusion if there's no longer a need to be with someone or to be or have something whatever it is right to just be totally okay with yourself and being in the moment enjoying whatever is in front of you and just going out there having fun then you know you have healed if you're still angry we need to look a little bit closer at why and i'm going to get a little bit more into that when it comes to the cards that we got but when that is set my friend was right where is our reward when we have done the healing right because there will be days where we do feel up and down where we feel frustrated and maybe it's like a push when i actually i asked the question i asked the question i asked the question what is the reason that we feel frustrated this card came up which for me is like once again also something i tried to explain and i've <laughs> explained this on my channel before actually we it came up in a reading yesterday didn't it like you have manifested your dreams you have manifested it divine timing is at play and i know we hate it we hate it so much maybe that's why i need to do this because maybe some of you guys are really going out of your mind going crazy about love is not there or your manifestations are just not like yeah it's like you see the signs but you didn't see the evidence right and i know this is another sign 818 another sign and there's actually another sign here i'm sorry to say people i know we are frustrated <laughs> but we actually shouldn't be i'm trying to really um you know spark my curiosity because i actually did have this like energy of like well i'm fine <laughs> but obviously we are curious we want to have all the answers we want to know so i know that's the reason why i needed to do this reading and to talk about this topic and go in into details about it the universe okay that's not what i want to say but the universe what is bringing in everything for you at the moment and maybe that's why you are getting frustrated <laughs> i question myself every time i say something <laughs> Oh, sorry he says one of my friends were like are you and the family okay <laughs> yeah anyway um the nine of cups is a cup of wishes being fulfilled and it is actually it's a cup <laughs> it's a card that comes up when um, something is very very close I'm going to take more cards just to see what else we can get. I did hear something about expectations. Maybe whatever this is that you're trying to manifest, it's not coming the way that you expect it. Maybe it comes in another form. If it's love, obviously some of you guys might be dealing with someone that you're waiting for. Maybe you have been waiting for this person for years. That creates the dilemma in your mind. Especially if you get signs all the time, I get that. If you continuously get the signs that this is your person but you're still waiting, 
it's it's hard to let go but it's not healthy mentally to keep waiting I see where this frustration comes from <laughs> I see it <laughs> oh, my little voice told her to ask I love you girl if you're watching it's so nice to have people in your life who's like <laughs> out of nowhere just randomly being like how are you maybe you know yeah <laughs> so you guys need to ask someone how are you actually how is everything going maybe you need to ask yourself right am i okay is there something that is frustrating me is there something i'm missing i'm trying to you know go through whatever comes through in this reading because that it's so random i was not really supposed to do a reading about this and i struggled a little bit because i was like i don't want to go into this again i don't want to you know <laughs> But I also know that we do need to ask ourselves the tough questions, right? Even if it's not a tough questions, I think it's more giving the mind peace and trusting. Because I know, obviously, a lot of the times we're seeking out the signs. That's another thing I want to say. If you want to have a sign, the universe will deliver a sign. But it also gets to a point where the universe is like, you need to trust the signs that we have already given you. And then you need to just relax. If some of you guys, I do want to say that if you're dealing with a soulmate or a twin flame or whatever it is that you're believing in and you have telepathic communication, if you're doing tarot cards and asking this person like, how are you? How are you feeling? What's happening? <laughs> and you keep getting the same positive cards. Trust that that is so. Especially if you also get intuitive messages or whatever that something still needs to be worked on or just like the timing is not right and i know it's frustrating i know it's frustrating people <laughs> i know but you do need to trust that the, the universe has a plan like there's a reason why things are like they are and to trust blindly it's not always easy if you're trying to manifest something i don't know what's happening with this recording if you already have gotten all the signs that this is your person um, this is the job, this is the house, this is the manifestation Trust in it Don't keep asking, it sounds wrong It sounds weird At least not every day Obviously if you feel the urge to do so Yeah But you need to to trust the process And let go and let loose Because then it's, that is how manifestation works do, do, Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest If it's money, if it's love, whatever it is, doesn't matter It comes in when you are completely in the moment Living your life, being joyful, happy Without the need to know Without the need to have Once again, I know it's frustrating not to know I know Again, I done this this healing <laughs> I done this healing it took me a while to get to the point where I am but if I can do it you can do it maybe also we need to ask ourselves if we are eager to know all the time then ask why is it that you're eager to know if again the reason why you feel frustrated is this it's like why are you eager to know if you know you know, it keeps being like, but you know, we told you, <laughs> it is coming. I mean, let's. <laughs> so, I mean, it's also obviously I read for different people who are in different situations and, cir and circumstances, but I feel there is something that is changing in the tarot community. I don't know why that just totally felt like a sidetrack. Um, yeah, take what resonates from these, these readings But what I want to say There's a lot of things that's changing with the way that we Get intuitive messages Or tarot messages Because sometimes tarot can take over And we can want more and more and more and more and more We want to have one confirmation after another And then It gets to the point where the universe is sending you The wrong signals because you keep Asking You keep Again, the more you ask, the more frustrated you get the more you dig, the more dirt you find. 
the more dirt you find. And sometimes when you're really digging for something, you're just violently <laughs> digging a hole and maybe in the midst of finding answers, you actually dig up the answer, right? You throw it off, uh, off the, the fence, the cliff, and then you're like, I don't see anything. God damn it. <laughs> Whereas those answers, I keep digging as I, and there is no <laughs> answer. Well, you violently duck <laughs> for, the, whoa, the words for those answers. And now you have dug your own grave and you can't get up. <laughs> whoa, where are we going? 1818. So you're like, okay, I need to find out how I get out from this hole and up to the light because this is, it, it's very dark down here. And I hear voices because it gets even more frustrating. I feel delusional. And the more that you say, I feel frustrated. I feel delusional. I feel fearful, sad. The more the universe, you guys know how it works. The more the universe is like, your wish is my command. And it brings you more of that. That means when you are down in that pity little hole with darkness, being sad, lonely, frustrated, you take your phone up from your pocket you go into YouTube, you find a <laughs> tarot reader, you, you watch the video and the message is definitely not what you expected <laughs> and it makes you even more frustrated and then you're like, why do you give me this answer now? That's not what you gave me last night where you said everything was fine <laughs> and the universe is like, well last night you were supposed to <laughs> to understand the message and not dick any more around in the hole. <laughs> well, that sounds so bad. <laughs> Do you guys know what I mean? <laughs> so the reason for the frustration. What should we ask? I haven't even shown you guys the other cards yet. Where are you going? What is it that you need to do? What is your mission right now? I think that's it. What is your mission right now? Actually interesting. With all the frustration we just spoke about because this card came up for that. Reverse, so it's like it's closing, right? Clamps up. It's like it was open and ready, but then you started not believing in it or you felt frustrated and then it closes down. Some of you guys are resisting now. And I, I know some of you guys are going to be like, I am not resisting at all. Well, you're still asking for signs. The universe will show you the signs naturally if you're just flowing with it for you to follow. But if you're not occupying your mind, if you're not creating your dream life and just focusing on something else you will get to the dark place where you you are seeking out signs but you're seeking out signs in a state of frustration right i really hope this is helping someone out there <laughs> okay what was the question <laughs> what is your mission right now what can help you So we have the, the King of Swords and we have the Judgment. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it, but we have another Divine Timing. <laughs> Your mission is just to keep a cool head. That is the King of Swords. The King of Swords knows, okay? His sword is upright, so it's like, I know. You are going through a big transformation. Um, Again, do you want to keep yourself down in the coffins? We have spoken about that in a previous reading, people. I heard, what is the logic reason? What is the logic reason? Hmm. Well... 
I had a very long just staring into nothing. I mean, what is real? It's all about self reflection and awakening. Self reflection and awakening. Also, something I never really paid attention to is that the King of Swords is actually like his cloak is like red on the inside and purple on the outside, right? So there is this energy of like passion and spirituality and also also with the crown self-reflection, self-awareness, self-awakening Is the universe trying to push you into that? To an awakening for you to understand that you are manifesting and you are picking up on the signs but do you understand the signs? Are you confused about the signs? There's something here, when I kept hearing that, <laughs> when I was staring into nothing, it's like you're learning something about the messages, the intuitive messages you receive, but also the signs that you see. So a butterfly with that, which I'm just saying, this is a card that came up, butterfly. We're going to talk about that. This might be a long reading. There's something happening in this situation, whatever this is about, where your higher self is asking you. So you are asking yourself to actually look closer at why something happened or why something is happening. Like you're asking yourself to examine your own life in a way. Examine the situation, examine the transformation, the awakening. Are you going deep today? Maybe you need to be more logical instead of being so spiritual when it comes to receiving the answers now. Or take action in a way. Because all the signs are here, right? We know that all the signs are here. If you are someone who has received all the signs and you continuously receive all the signs, what is the logical reason for that? Well, that your wish is actually granted. So you have to ask yourself, well, what is the logical reason why it's not in my life yet? Is it as simple as are you... ...ready for it? Well, that got very wide, didn't it? That's wrong. <laughs> Because normally when the oyster is up, it's about feeling blessed, being generous, generous and masterful. So mastering something. Is there something that you are still in need of mastering? Is there something here where are you generous enough? Like uh, is there a give and take in whatever this is? Are you giving time to something? Um, are you feeling blessed, right? Because the universe cannot bring you something. If you're not feeling blessed, then it's going to close it down. Very, actually, very powerful that um, we have this combination. I heard some of you guys, when you see a butterfly, you instantly think about transformation, right? And you instantly think about that it's a sign for something is changing in your life. So you receive that sign, right? So what is it that you are transforming in your life? For some of you guys are waiting for something else to be transformed. You're not taking action, you're not taking steps into something. And some of you guys are going to be like, I have taken the steps, I don't know what steps I need to take. Well, maybe that's why you need to tap into the King of Swords. What is the steps that you need to take? What is it that you have overlooked? It's a slap in the face from the universe, I feel. There's something about mentoring here as well. Maybe some of you guys are being asked to teach what you have learned from a situation. And if you're not learning it, and some of you guys might be like, I can't teach anyone this if I don't have it in my life, no matter if it's love or whatever it is. Who says that? Who says, I mean, hello, you're your own person. You don't, do not need an, another person to live your life, first of all. Saying it all. Maybe that's exactly what actually <laughs> needs to happen. That you start teaching this. And this can be through YouTube, it can be through whatever. It can be speaking, whatever. 
there's something that needs to be activated here and it comes from you it doesn't come from someone else whatever it is that you're trying to manifest it's not something that's being given to you it's something that you are giving doing you have it the recording stopped <laughs> wow we're going deep today maybe you do need to start embodying the qualities of the king of swords first of all he does bring clarity right he also brings logic so again the logical reason there's something about the logical reason but also being fair right being balanced loving balance the king of swords loves balance so look close right is there something that's not balanced in your life what needs to be transformed i haven't ooh, looked at up whoa my foot really had a strong reflection there <laughs> yeah well i did put it down right down right <laughs> reverse wow a lot of times when it comes to love or people who one 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 are dealing with love it's very hard to get to a point if you really love someone and longing for someone it's hard to get to the point where you're like i need to not needing this person i want to get to the point where i do not need this person and i know that sounds wrong but that's exactly what i think we learn codependency right because sometimes we do we do find ourselves in a victim mentality where we want someone to come to save us and maybe that's something that society has been feeding us <laughs> the prince on the white horse the lottery win <laughs> you know <laughs> so we <laughs> maybe that's it <laughs> we kind of get lazy because we're like well i don't need to do something because the universe told me that this is something that comes my way and then all my dreams come true but you are a whole effing person with magical powers and there's something that you have in your beautiful energy and aura that needs to be activated by yourself no one else is activating it for you and i think that if you really have a long think <laughs> a long think <laughs> you, you know exactly what it is that you need to do there might be something where this, this feels uncomfortable I don't know if I can do this but you are manifesting your dreams and with that there is some kind of responsibility that comes with it right? I'm just blibbly blabbly today I do feel there is something here with like in order for you to move forward you, you need to be honest with yourself about something it doesn't have to be something negative you just need to be honest to yourself you, un you understand the symbols, the signs you receive them, you see them, you sense them, you hear them but what then? you get a high you get excited and then it kind of fades out right then you have to so you have to ask yourself why is that <sighs> patient secret keeper hiding in a treasures just read that what treasure are you hiding that is a part of this transformation I mean, it's actually pretty... wow. Okay, butterfly. Alright, butterfly. I actually do need to take one more card. Because I feel these two cards are more the sign of like... You go through this because you're transforming. Hmm. You're undergoing great change. And the transformation, we just spoke about it, right? If that's not the sign that we all give the butterfly, transformation. Change. So there is a period of transition. And it's the air elements. So, king of swords. It's a masculine energy. It's taking action. When it's in balance... 
as a something. When it's in balance, it's cheerful and graceful. Again, graceful. <laughs> Maybe we do need to get to the point where we are. What was it that I said yesterday? Flatlining. It's the rebirth. <laughs> and the butterfly again. Wow. There's something about your daily routine. Um, maybe you feel fragile or frustrated. That's so funny. <laughs> six sixteen. See, if the the book didn't f fall on the ground, I would never have seen six sixteen. And the six sixteen number is a sign of a new relationship. And um, obviously, for you know, whoever you're dealing with, it could be a new person, could be someone from your past. If you're dealing with someone from the past. I mean, if you're waiting for someone, maybe this person is still in this pos position or transition, right, of changing and transforming. So, I mean, you do have to ask yourself the, the logical question. And maybe the logical answer for some of you guys is that there is another person waiting for you. Like, again, I do want to say, again, if. You have gotten all the signs, that, that is your person, it is your person. But if you have gotten mixed signs... Uh, well, look closer at the signs too, I do want to say. Did you miss out on something? Did you read a sign wrongly? Because is this the person or is this a new person? It's, again, I know it's, it's for some of you guys, you're going to be like, I know it's the person. Well, then it's the person. Just want you guys to be sure, okay? Because you deserve the best. So, what is the last card? I also took the uh, Soul Seeker Science deck. Rabbit, I have seen that many times. So, again, new beginnings, right? But also, the rabbit can be fearful and hiding. Don't hide yourself away, live your life. All this trick. The crow and the unicorn. Well, there you go. <laughs> There's something here with your psyche abilities. We did say that, right? There's something you're learning about your psyche abilities, the, the way you read signs, the way that you understand signs, signs and symbols. You know, again, spirit is like you know that this is coming your way. You get all the signs, you understand the signs, and still you question the signs. Why? Yeah, psychic, strong, clear. It's also upright. So your intuition is spot on. So when do you start trusting your intuition? Maybe that's actually the trick. When you get to the point where I'm like, I trust my intuition. I trust in um, divine timing, destiny. Because if you don't trust in it, the universe is pulling it down. The unicorn is not um, real if no one believes in it. <laughs> and has anyone ever seen a unicorn? <laughs> I ask you. No. And still we everything believe in it. Still is in movies and cartoons and whatever. If we have brought it to life. And that is what you're learning to bring your, your destiny and your dreams and desires, love to life. You. No one else. It's not your soulmates mission or your twin flames mission i don't want to hear anything about the twin flame journey because do we actually know what the hell it is no <laughs> maybe maybe you do i thought i did <laughs> i thought i knew every i thought i knew everything about it but i learned so many things about it that i have come to the conclusion that it's a mix of a lot of things <laughs> just like the unicorn Sometimes the unicorn has wings, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> maybe some of you guys, like if it's about love, maybe you have been together with this person in past lives. So it's like a continuing lesson that you're learning. But this is the lifetime where you get together with your soulmate, otherwise it wouldn't be so effing hard. But again, I do want you to 
look out for the signs. Maybe in past lives you never got to the point where you trust your intuition. Maybe you, you know, got burned at the stake as a witch. Watchful. Spirit is very watchful. I do feel when it comes to ravens, they are very watchful. <laughs> They're like, what's that a raven? <laughs> You need to trust in your abilities and we are watching you. We're keeping an eye on you. That means that you're also highly protected at the moment. If it's to bring the raven and your psychic abilities uh, to life, it's all about daily meditation practices. So again, daily routine. Okay, unicorn. This is a very interesting reading. But I think someone needs it out there, like... Hopefully, this is going to help some of you. Hmm. Reckon, um, reconnecting to higher wisdom and uh, divinity. <laughs> I feel some of you guys, you feel like if it's about love or if it's about manifesting money or your career, you think that's it. That's it. But there is so much more behind whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. It's like highly spiritual. It's it's destiny, for God's sake. I think some of you guys, you need to turn it around and be like, Ha! Huh, it's my destiny. What does that actually mean? <laughs> right? The king of swords is asking those questions. If it's my destiny, what does it mean? I mean, there's a reason. That's another thing. There's a reason why you have a wish because that another one of you another one of you in another dimension already has it okay you have had it in many lifetimes that's why you you want it in this lifetime no matter if it's about a person or if it's about a dream or a desire if you want to i don't know whatever it is that you want to become right a hairdresser whatever because you are that Glad we figured that one out. <laughs> yeah. It's difficult to see here a thing of a unicorn without immediately questioning if it's real. Did they ever exist? <laughs> Maybe some of you guys like, did this energy of love for this person, or whatever you had with the person, did it exist? Was it real? Did I make it up? So you start questioning, right? You need to be like, there's a reason why this person came into my life, there is a reason why I went through transformation and whatever or there is a reason why I want to be a dancer or a singer 1515 15. there is a reason why, is it real? was it real? yeah, maybe, could it be? no way and it's the same energy that we have with the divine, right? are you even real universe? are you even listening to me? and the universe is like, well I just sent you five signs yesterday, but, you know, you still have the audacity <laughs> to question me. Did you see the five butterflies, the angel numbers, <laughs> the big letters, the dream? And still you question me. You need to get to the point where you are not questioning it. And then just learn how to handle it and stay in it and live your life maybe that's why I need to teach you guys <laughs> 101 on how to live your life <laughs> yeah your mind's eye knows okay. for whoever I need it for whoever need it we are taking here look what I see past lives there is something about past lives soul tie you have met before past karma so maybe the past karma is actually believing that this is real whatever it is for you creativity inspiration artistic visionary original you are an original some of you guys you're looking at everyone else for inspiration instead of actually listening to yourself because you yourself is like i want to do things this way that way and then you start doing it and you're starting looking and comparing yourself to others and then you're like well this person is not doing it that way does that mean that i should do it that way instead of my way it's 
stop listening to others and start listening to yourself. You are an origin. If that means that you are running naked in the moonlight, <laughs> that is what you do. As long as you are not disturbing anyone. <laughs> you are meant to do something the way that you want to do something. But you are not doing it. Maybe some of you guys are doing it, but then let you know, answer me that question. Do you believe in what you're doing? Like, honestly, do you believe in what you're doing? Confirmation. Hidden, unseen things out of sight, concealed. The universe is hiding things from you because that you, you keep being like, I prayed for another sign. <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm just <laughs> Listen, people. I have been doing this for this for the past months. Can you give me another sign? <laughs> another sign, please. And the universe is like, what do you call this that you see? <laughs> what is this that I just gave you? I think we are learning the biggest lesson when it comes to listening to signs and symbols. I had this like vision of the hermit sitting at the top of the mountain being like I traveled all the way up here for a sign I learned many lessons on my path up here <laughs> now I wait for an even bigger sign than just the lessons that I've been going through and the universe keeps giving the hermit signs one sign after another especially the lamb that he's carrying with the star right it keeps lighting up and he's just like yeah I know I see you butterflies here again little did the hermit know <laughs> well eventually he will realize it right he needs to go back the mountain again and start using the lessons so you guys are still sitting on that goddamn mountain waiting for a sign and you're like i haven't gotten the sign even if he felt the wind uh, on his face he felt the um, the sun he saw the moonlight <laughs> He heard all the voices and everything and realized what he'd been going through and was like uh, uh, <laughs> I did just went on the biggest journey of my life but that was not enough and the universe is like that, that was the point of getting you to the mountain you're not supposed to sit on the mountain you're supposed to go down again and use the tools that you just learned <laughs> So let me ask you, what have you learned on this journey of yours, the past months? Eh? Seriously, think about it, write it down. What have you learned? That is your lesson for today. Write down what you have learned the past months on your journey up to the mountain. And also the signs you have seen. Maybe you need to actually keep track and write down signs so that you can look back and be like, Oh yeah, I did actually get a sign for this. I don't know why I asked the question again. Yeah. What does your eyes see? We have the blue eyes. Doesn't have to be anything significant with blue eyes it might be for some of you but it might also just be the truth right you see the truth because blue is true truth why do I take more cards I don't know I felt like something was um yeah okay planning future practical looking ahead that is what you need to do now for yourself waiting hold back not budging hold on so again it, are you you know moving forward what are you holding on to what do you need to hold on to and also hang on can the universe being like just hang on you're just in the, in the queue it's going to move eventually <laughs> okay I don't think I'm supposed to take any more cards, but I am going to take one of these because that I took it with me, so I guess that's the reason why. <laughs> Surrender. Just what you guys want to hear, right? 
<laughs> Let it go. Let it go of limiting beliefs. Be as expansive in your thoughts as your soul is. If <laughs> that's not a sign. <laughs> is the universe clear? And loud with us right now. Anything else? The last message is fine. Wolf. Heart medicine. Let go of that which does not serve your highest good. Hmm. Whatever that is. If it's worry. If it's people. If it's the control of knowing. I think that's it. Thank you guys. I know this is a long one, but I think this is really going to kickstart what needs kickstarting. At least that is what I hope. Let me know if you have seen till the end, you can use the affirmation, I let go of that which does not serve my highest good. Or you can put a little wolf emoji. That should be that, right? But thank you guys. I will see you guys um, whenever. Bye.